Hey guys, before we get into this video, I want to tell you about my giveaway that's coming up. Once we reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway to the cubicle. It'll either be a cube or some gift cards or something like that. I'm hoping that it'll be just in time for my 50th video. So if you're interested in entering this giveaway, then stay tuned for my 50th video. And if you want to get there faster, then make sure to subscribe. So anyways, now let's get into this video. You've probably already read the title, but I'm going to be opening another mystery box from the cubicle. If you remember last time, I got the GTS 3 3x3. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. I also want to thank you guys for all the support on that video. Wow. So I would have gotten a $35 mystery box, but from what I've seen, there's a lot of non-magnetic 7x7s and weird shape mods and stuff like that. I'm sure there's some really good cubes, but I wasn't really willing to take that risk. So I went with another $25 mystery box, and here it is. So I'm not going to wait any longer, let's open this. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is the MGC 7x7, which I already have, it's right here. At least it's not non-magnetic, like I was just talking about that. So let's open this up. It's stickered. Okay. Um, I didn't, I forgot about stickered cubes, like oh my gosh. I'm trying to decide if I'm disappointed or not because on one hand I have a duplicate of a 7x7 I already have. But on the other hand, I have two 7x7s, which is pretty cool. I wasn't expecting it to be stickered though, that's kind of not preferable. Man, when I saw the MGC box, I was really hoping it was going to be the 6x6, because then I would almost have all of the MGC big cubes. But then again, I'm not even sure if the 6x6 is worth $25, so they might not be able to put that in these. I guess this does give me the opportunity to make a stickered versus stickerless video, so that might be something I do in the future. Alright, this is feeling pretty good now. It's kind of funny, because I could have sworn that my stickerless MGC7 came pre-lubed, so I'm not sure why this one didn't. Um, it's dry right now, and it needs a little bit of lube. And I don't mean like pre-lube by the cubicle, like with their setup service, I mean like factory lube. It does feel like an MGC7, that's for certain. At least it's like one of the best 7x7s on the market, so it's not like a bad deal. It looks like the orange is way more vibrant in the stickered colors. Also with the green. But that's just about it, I think. Yeah, the reds are the same. I mean, it looks nice. I personally think stickered cubes look better, but I don't think they perform better. I mean obviously they perform the same but I don't like to use them as much as stickerless cubes. Now that I think about it I might actually be kind of glad that it's stickered because if I had two stickerless 7x7s I wouldn't be able to like, do anything with them not really be able to make a video about them but now that I have one in stickered and one in stickerless I can make a comparison video. This cube feels really big for some reason. I mean, I know technically the stickers add a little bit of width, but it feels a lot bigger. I, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not. It's not any bigger, but it feels like it. It's kind of weird. So if you guys have any ideas for what I could do with these two 7x7s, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And remember to stay tuned for the 50th video. We'll be doing a giveaway then, so it's going to be pretty fun. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.